How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to unbrick firmware restore your Huawei device. Now this is the Huawei P8 Lite. Um, now this should work on basically any Huawei device that is running. Let me show you. Go into about phone. It's got to be running EMUI. And if you're running that, then this method should work to unbrick, firmware restore, unroot, you name it. Basically, get your phone working back to 100% stock. This video is going to cover that. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is you need to get the correct firmware for your device. Let me just point out what mine is. So right here, I have the ALE-L21. And then my build number is here ending in B120. So those are the two things that are going to be most critical to finding the correct firmware. So I've actually got my firmware figured out and found. I found it on XDA developers. And this is the uh, site right here. So you basically come down here and you find the one that matches your build number. There it is right there for me. And you hit the download link. You can also get these from Huawei. And I'll give you a link to that site as well. So you should be able to hopefully find your specific firmware for your specific device. But these steps are going to work the same on pretty much any Huawei device that has EMUI running on it. So from here, what we're going to do is uh, swipe down. Right here, you can see I've already downloaded that uh, zip, which is the firmware. And you're going to open it up. Now, you're going to need a SD card. This is very, very important. You have to have one for this to function because you have to be able to put these firmware files on to your SD card. So let's see if this thing will extract. So let's see, we're waiting. Um, also about the SD card while we're waiting here for this to open up is you need to have an SD card that's four gigs or more for this to function correctly. Um, and also what I found, at least on this device, my 16 gig SD card didn't work, but an eight did. So. There might be some variances there with the right SD card. Uh, SanDisk is actually one of the better ones for that. Um, so this is just Arch Archive Preview. It's taken forever. So today we're going to do. We're not going to look at it that way. Instead, we're going to come over here into our file browser, and we'll just agree to that. And then we're going to go up to Local, Internal. Now you can see I have that external right there SD card. That's the external SD card I put on there. And you're going to go to downloads. And right there is the firmware. If you click on it, you can see right there what you've got. And basically what you have here is you have some directions, which is great. You can actually read them. It's a Word document. Um, if you open that up, there you go. Agree to this information. And we can actually look at the Word document that walks you through the exact steps. If you want, it's there. And if you're having troubles, definitely check it out. I'm not going to I'm not actually not going to look at it right now. But basically what we need is we need this file right here. And this is the deload file and inside of it is all of the firmware. So we need to take that file and we need to copy it. So extract it first. So actually let's see if I can do that. If I can do an extraction really quick. So if we hold down on this extract extract and it's going to extract. Now, this is a really big file once you've extracted it. It's about, well, it says right there, 2.59 gigs. It's quite big. Now, luckily, once it's extracted, you take your, your deload file, you copy paste it to your SD card. I've actually already done that, so I'm just going to pop out of this really quick. And yeah, it canceled the operation, but it's okay because I've already done that. So here's my SD card. You copy that D, D load file with the firmware inside of it to right here on your external SD card. And, it, and you have to have that in the root of the device. All right, if you have that and you've got your stuff set up, that's pretty much it from here. It's very simple. First thing you gotta do is go ahead and power off the device. Mine is the Huawei P8 Lite, like I said, and power it off. And what happens is you're just going to boot into a recovery mode that's going to automatically start flashing the firmware restore. Now, I didn't show you this, but this device was rooted, and you saw a little bit of customization, wallpaper was changed, and things like that. So that's all going to be gone when I do this. If your device is in a boot loop or bricked or they won't power up, you can actually 
pull your SD card, put that firmware on there, slide it in, and do the same thing I'm about to do right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our volume up and down buttons right here. We're going to hold both of them up and down at the same time. Then we're going to hold the power button. And just keep holding them. Now you see the Huawei device hold for a little bit longer. The screen should go blank. And as soon as it goes blank, or in about 5 to 10 seconds, and yeah, that's probably long enough. I'm going to let go of power, but keep holding the volume up and down. And what this is going to do is this is going to put it in that restore firmware mode. And it's just going to automatically start flashing the firmware to restore the device. Keep, keep holding them. It's not going to hurt anything to hold them. There you go. Right there. That is it. All right. So you can see I've got a one percentage Huawei software installation. I am right now fully restoring the Huawei device here, the P8 Lite. Like I said, this will probably work on the P8. Basically anything that has the EMUI uh, operating system in it and their recovery setup, this is how you do it. This is way nicer than using something like Odin or RSD Lite or LG Flash Tool. This is just really, really simple. And I'm definitely liking it. So guys, from here, it's time to do a little speed up, sit back, and watch your device restore. Let's do it. All right, here we go. There is your initial setup screen, right? Picking your language, going through your initial setup, and you are fully restored. Now, obviously, you can see this did wipe data factory reset your device, so it's clean, man. This is like having a new phone out of the box, which is what normally an unbrick, firmware restore, unroot, so on and so forth does to your device. So now you got to go through the setup, and you're rocking stock on your Huawei device once again. So this is really cool and I'm definitely liking it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video here on the Huawei uh, P8 Lite and restoring your Huawei device. So stay tuned for more coverage on this device and hopefully I'll be getting some more Huawei devices here very soon and uh, we'll kind of go from there. So hope you enjoyed and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.